website redesign right now. We've never really done very well with SEO or keywording. Um, and again, I think that's the kind of business we're in. Uh, I think if you're pushing into, if you're doing something unique, uh, you're doing something kind of new, it's hard to, people aren't maybe searching for it, right? Like I said, people don't yet expect to be able to give feedback at every business they work with. Therefore, every business isn't saying, oh, we need to have, you know, a, a system for gathering customer feedback. Um, so we never really built around SEO. Uh, I basically build websites, you know, same way you write. Uh, you know, you write an outline on a, on a Google Doc, bullet point it, expand it out. We did at one point use a site called 99designs to do our homepage. I think our second, I did our original homepage, um, uh, you know, just myself. Uh, and, you know, I think there's a lot of great inspiration for it if you're just starting out, you know, your homepage shouldn't be too busy. You shouldn't even worry about SEO, in my opinion, at that point. For Again, for the type of business I'm talking about. Obviously, if you're doing a little more like a lifestyle business or if you're doing a niche business, then it makes sense. Um, but if you're doing something that's funding that hasn't quite been done before, um, I don't worry about SEO at the start. I worry about a, you know, a single, single page website that explains the value prop, that tries to get people interested and signed up, either you know, whether, whether the, the payoff is getting to sign up and try out your service or if it's just to fill out a lead form or what have you. Uh, but a single page site, it's like designing an ad, right? Think of designing a really cool full page ad in the New York Times. That's what I think your website should look like. Um, and yeah, and then whatever engagement points or, or, or kind of goal you have in terms of conversion. Um, <clears throat> the, so like I said, that's, that's how we built the first version. The second version of the site we built, we used 99designs. Like we already have had a lot of the copy written. And so we kind of gave someone a, here's a, here's a skeleton like here's here's the the copy we already want, uh, flush it out into a design, and I, th you know, I think at this point, uh, you know, there's a lot of room for creativity around this kind of single page designs. When you get into a more full featured SaaS service, you, you kind of everyone ends up with somewhat the same design. Uservoice.com right now I think is a fairly you know, uh, standardized kind of SaaS layout, right? You have a plans and pricing page, you have a few kind of tour about pages. Um, we're going to try something a little different with our next redesign. Um, but by and large, I feel like at this point, you know, you can actually even go buy templates. Uh, there's a lot of good sites now where for like a hundred bucks, you can go buy a template for a WordPress site that gives you a pretty slick looking design, right? I don't think your homepage design is going to make or break your company. If you are very much a design driven company, then you should obviously spend time to create a great way to page design. If you're not, and if the product is the thing and you know, design, you're good at design, but whatever, like, just go grab one of those themes. Go find something that won't make you look bad, right? It, it doesn't make look, you look like Craigslist. It makes you look like, you know, your legit business. But you don't have to spend, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on it. And like I said, we've tried everything. We've tried 9 Designs. we tried outside contractors. Um, I think at this point, the only thing I would do, I'd either do it in-house or I'd go grab just a standard theme. And that's, you know. So if we do it in-house, it's because we have design skills and we outsource it if we don't.